because uh, one thing I need to show you about Microsoft Visual Basic as we proceed now from introduction now we have more programs that you can still design and you, after designing now you can program them and make sure that you do a bit of data linking so that it can work and you have a database or a backup in this case so that any information that you put here will not be just in vain but can be for future reference in this case I need to show you some of how you can come up with a diploma exam records here we have this uh, we have this object window here this object windows what you need to do is just to come here and create this kind of a layout of this form you put the student uh, we have the such a college diploma student exam record transcript for information technology you have the logo there and uh, we have now the student and with this student you have now the text box for it you have admission number we have the combo box for this uh, we have the date uh, in old select date here and now you have the frame for courses and grade you can see we have now the, the programs Microsoft publisher we have Corredro, Photoshop, Visual Basic, we have Sage accounts, we have QuickBooks, HTML into bracket web design we have now the our, our grade here that when you score negative you score below 50 a fail but above or equal to 50 is a pass 65 and above the credit and distinction start from 80 and above uh, we have the total max uh, you need to put the text box for the uh, total max for the mean grid and we have the overall the max a submit button and you have a cancel just in case you want to cancel and you have this one called a data link this is the data link where by this case to get this data link you need to come here use this tool the data is the one that bring you a data link and then in this case you can come here and put the, the caption data diploma student list as you can see here and now you have DAT diploma which is now the name of this data link button you can see we have the uh, cmd submit result and you have submit result cancel we have cmd cancel text box as you can see we have this one you can either come here you put them you give them names or you can use them the way they are as strong as you know how to program you be in a position to give the information in the right way that is a text 10 we have this is 6 9 8 we have text 6 uh, 2 we have 1 7 we have this one is text 3 as you can see it is text 3 here and we have uh, text 4 uh, text 5 and we have now 6 uh, this one you need to put a rebo LBL time and you have this one for uh, LBL date on caption don't put anything just leave it blank for date and time you just leave blank like that one what maybe you can do you just come here you put transparent you can either put transparent uh, or layers you can come here you put either a different color for this one to be more visible there or you can just come here and put fixed you can see it is, seems to be a bit inside fixed you can put transparent color for this uh, then those are now are rebels and now after drawing this using all these tools here for example this for rebel uh, text box frame command button we have this one for cover box and we have this one for list box among other programs in data link now you can come here and now you see how to program this what you need to do just come here we can set the form load to go to the form load you need to come here right click here uh, then you go to view code 
you can say automatically give you now the form road. These are form road information when what you're gonna type in the form road up to there. Those are some of the information that automatically comes when you are loading uh, you are loading form road. How is how you put the information? It is very simple. Now you can see the information there. How you put now the form road you need to put uh, LBL date uh, dot caption is equals date. You need to put LBL time dot caption is equals time. Uh, now to get this for the mission number, this for the mission number, we start with with CBO because a combo box. Uh, admission number dot text is equals admission number, which is now this one. Uh, then dot add item space in the quotes. Now you put the your admission number. You put a uh, dot add item space in the quotes. You put now the second admission number, whereby it should be unique number, so you can just type it, duplicate, then you keep changing them in a very easier way without no problem. You can now come here and type all this one. Uh, in case you want to add another one, you can just come here, just come here, right? for example, those are, those, are, those are not there. You can just come here, you click copy, uh, you click uh, enter and you click paste once you click paste now you can come here you edit uh, these ones these numbers here you can come here edit example you put 54 uh, you have 56 and you have uh, 90 you can just come and put like this one and automatically you can see now there's how the coding will change from that uh, then while well, you are through that section uh, when you see this private sub for this uh, mnutrof dot click uh, underscore click that is for the menu because as you can see you can realize here we have different types of menu and how you can put for example size 12 this is the size 12 for this and once you click there automatically now we bring you here once you go to for example style bold you can see this is the coding for bold uh, for command button and how you program for that you can go to something else for example style you go to italic now you see like, the content for italic uh, we have that in for example more than that is how you do that labeling so that the content you want to appear uh, can be done without like uh, without no problem that's how we do program menu but we'll base that information about the menu as its own topic so don't mind about this it's just a brief but we're gonna take the whole lesson about how to create menu and how to program menu so that they can start functioning without any problem uh, now we go to this coding for example this submit result uh, result here just double click there and you can see this is some of the coding that you need to put here while programming this you need to come here all this coding here is the one you're gonna put there for example you can see uh, dim statement which is dim publish a single corridor single photoshop stage accounts among other programs you just put like that one uh, uh, then we have publisher is equals val into bracket text 7 dot text but in case you can still put txt publisher uh, dot text if case you renamed those text boxes as I work on that total now to calculate the total you need to come here this now the for the total you can see this one for the total of whereby it is publisher plus corridor plus photoshop plus sage accounts 
plus visual basic plus quick box plus html whereby you need to come here write text 8 dot text is equals total i thought you calculate the total in grid you can see it is the total divided by number of programs which are seven and we have the text 9 dot text is equals min grid to get the remarks you need to come here this is the content for remarks that means if min grid is less than or equal to one and min grid uh, and the min grid less than uh, 50 then text 10 which is now this uh, when you talk about text 10 which is now this for overall remarks this is the way we are talking about the text is equals fail else if min grid is above or equal to 50 and min grid less than 65 then text 10 dot text will be passed so it means what will determine the uh, this min grid if this min grid defined to be 60 point something then you expect the overall remarks to be a pass uh, if it goes to 67 for example and for this one it means it is that one range from uh, it is uh, between now above or equal to 65 it means it will be automatically a credit for that but it goes above 50 and above uh, 50 is a pass and once go above 80 it become a distinction uh, but in this case you have to make sure that uh, there are those figures which maybe can go beyond 50 beyond the wire uh, beyond 100 percent it means in this case you need to put the content doesn't exist so that you give you that kind of a warning for that uh, don't forget that you started with if you have to add with if function that's how you work on that one and you end up having that uh, programming for all this content while you are through you can come here and then you click uh, start once you click start there you can see how to give you the information there and you can see we have the information uh, with this one now you can see for example how the data link works for example if you come here click new for this when I click new you can see we have DATD from record set dot add new it will enable you to add a new student for this case to add a new student you need to put DATD from record set dot add new uh, in that new command for me in the menu uh, then we have now another one for uh saving the record you need to put dat diploma dot record set dot update will enable you to update your information in the database uh, in case you want to have more information still for example you need to come here you can either choose a uh, print and print here you can come here either you write uh, me dot uh, print form you can like that uh, like that one me dot print form or you can write uh, that one and write now print uh, form I see another way you can just come here and you read a command about that one and automatically you send you to uh, in a printer print form or just write me dot print uh, now from there you need to come here for exit you can just come write allowed me and automatically you'll be in a position to cancel or just close your program without no problem there's a code allowed me with a space uh, once now you are through you can click run and see whether our program is functionally working without no program yeah, no problem go to file i click new student you can see now here i can come i read for example a new student by the name uh, joel uh, 
Tak je minum. David. Uh, you have now the admission number here is fair by the admission number for that person it is that one and date and load in this case you can come here uh, you type now the date and load example to be 2 7 uh, and now you have the performance for example that one is 67 that is uh, 89, this is 92, 3, visual basic it was 35, surge it was uh, 63, and you have that one uh, where it is uh, 58, and you have this one, for example 72. Once those figures there for, for that one you can see the date and the uh, the date and the time that file will be will be recorded you can come here so this one don't go put to anything just click submit you can see the total max is 477 for seven programs a mean grade of 68.14286 and the overall max it is a credit uh, if case you are through with that one now, you can click file and you click save record. Automatically you save the record. Now you can see for Alex Ch Ch Chadema Douglas, that is the information for, Ch for Charles Douglas. And in case you need to see more, you can just come here, you click there to see Jamira Muhammad. And the information for Jamira Muhammad, uh, we have. Uh, more information here uh, for different people you can now see uh, how the the grid all all about among others you can see the record and now you can see uh, the information you have entered here now it is inside our database it is now inside the database and we have already saved without no problem about how to link is still be the main topic on its own we'll learn more about how to do data link with visual basic and microsoft access as a database how to link that one we'll tackle that one as a topic on its own so continue subscribing for more tutorials and learn more for that thank you for watching and thank you for listening our tutorial and keep subscribing for more tutorials and ask more questions where we can now tackle or rectify where we need to know more about that uh, guidance and we'll be ready for that for you